Well, California is ending its COVID state of an emergency at the end of the month. That's even sooner than the end of the nation's public health emergency. This comes as the latest data from the state shows a 5.7 percent test positivity rate right here in California. And joining me now is Dr. Malthi Srinivasa, Stanford Clinical Medical Professor of Medicine. So, Dr. At this stage, do you feel comfortable with the state essentially sending a message that it is the beginning of the end of the pandemic? Well, Ryan, I agree that it's time to end the state of emergency. The virus has evolved uh, to an overall less dangerous forms. And across the state, uh, deaths are down 25 percent. ICU admissions are down 10 percent over the past few weeks. And the state's now moving to an endemic strategy to control coronavirus including modernizing our medical supply stockpiles, promoting vaccines, and really working hard on stopping disinformation. But this also means that it's going to be the end of stimulus packages for people who were hardest hit by the pandemic. And this uh, includes, you know, the state's already given out about $8 billion for rent relief, um, $3 billion in utility support, and about uh, $10 billion in small business grants. So uh, it's a mixed bag for, for people who have been hit hardest, but moving to an endemic strategy is appropriate for where we are now. And, and it also turns out children in California will not be required to get the COVID vaccine to attend school. So what do you think about that? Yeah, Ryan, I think that, I, well, I'm generally pro-vaccination. Uh, children generally get less ill with coronavirus than adults, but they still live in communities with others who can get ill. And we know that the COVID vaccines definitely prevent death in the medically vulnerable. Now, it's important to remember that California has had a limited number of uh, mandatory vaccines for children. Uh, so this would include things like polio and tetanus, pertussis, hepatitis B, and chickenpox. But it hasn't required other vaccines for preventable illnesses like uh, influenza for pneumonia or uh, the, the HPV vaccine for cervical cancer. So while the um, decision by the Cali California Department of Public Health not to pursue a mandatory COVID uh, vaccine mandate is appropriate for children. It's probably not so good for our overall community. And, and turning to long COVID, new research looked at lifestyle factors that could impact our chances of developing it. Uh, developing it. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Yeah, finally, we've got some good news. Uh, the study found that a healthy lifestyle can cut down long COVID risk by about 50%. So the uh, study looked at about 2,000 women who'd had COVID as part of the nurse's health study, and about 40% of them had developed long COVID symptoms. And the people who were less likely to get it had five of six major healthy habits. This is a high-quality diet, moderate exercise, two to three hours per week, not smoking, uh, moderate alcohol consumption, keeping a healthy weight, and getting adequate sleep. Now, the women in the study were mainly white, so we can't say for certain that this degree of risk reduction is going to be true for people in other racial and ethnic groups, but it does reinforce what other multi-ethnic studies are showing for the same thing. So we have to kind of go back to all the things that our mother told us, uh, you know, exercise, uh, eat well, and get a good night's rest. And, and doctor, I think you've talked about this in the past, but just for my own curiosity, every, every fall, we, we tend to get a, a flu shot. Do you see us rolling in the COVID vaccine with the flu shot in, in, in the near future here? Yeah, I think that the two shots can be given together. Um, I think that it, uh, I, I don't think they'll be given as a single vaccine, but I think you can get both of them at the same time. Uh, it's safe to do that. And if you can, please always get your vaccinations. All right. Doctor, always good information. Thank you very much for joining us.